All right, take you for a little tour of our new garden. It's a micro scale aquaponics garden. You can see we got the squash over here. And we've got pinto beans in the middle, cucumbers, tomatoes, jalapenos, bell peppers. We're going to be adding some more stuff in here pretty soon. That's turnips, uh, spinach is right there, tomatoes, tomatoes, okra, onions, and I guess that's it. But this is going to be the fish tank, so to speak. We're going to have about 30 goldfish in there. And this is how it works. There's a pump in the fish tank, pumps into the siphon reservoir. That is a bell siphon that you see right there, that PVC with the airline coming out of it. Right now it's siphoning water, so you can see it. The water's coming out here, flooding all these. And it just stopped the siphon. So now that the bucket's empty, going to fill back up. You can see this. It's just a hollow tube over this. It creates a siphon. And the way it works is this runs 24-7. After the bucket gets to about this level, it'll automatically start draining. It'll drain all the way to the bottom and it automatically start filling back up. And it'll keep doing that over and over every five minutes. To keep these watered all the time and that's the video oh and just in case anyone's wondering under the rocks I'm using this coconut husk mat you can get it at Walmart it comes like this you just have to take some good heavy duty scissors and cut it into strips you can see the, I think it's three bucks for that big thing of it. I use like two for this whole thing. And then just pea gravel. And that's it. These buckets were $1.50 a piece. This irrigation tube is super cheap. That's just cut up water hose right there. The irrigation tube and the water hose fit so perfectly together that they make a pretty much watertight seal when you slide the irrigation tube inside the water hose. And that's it. We're going to put about 30 goldfish in the little tank down there. And the goldfish shit is going to be the food for the plants. Be the fertilizer. And that's it. I'm about to start another siphon, so I'll go ahead and watch, let y'all watch the siphon. When it starts, the water will come over the top of that little tube right there. And there it goes, right there. So the siphon just started. You can see it siphoning down. Well, maybe a little bit, but down and then starts here.